and Manny Machado has entered the building. As of now, Manny Machado is meeting with the New York Yankees. So, with that being said, before I upload videos and photos of Manny Machado at the stadium, let's get this out the way. Now, before I begin, it's not the New York Yankees doing this. The media has, let's say, crucified Manny Machado over his Johnny Hustle comments. Every single day, you type in Manny Machado, you're going to see at least 10 different articles that are negative. I've never seen this. And the reason I brought this up in my previous video and why some people might perceive it a different way is because there's another free agent that was touted, that is touted just as Manny Machado and has done some questionable things. Remember, Manny Machado is 26 years old. He's not A-Rod slapping the ball out of the first baseman's glove. He's not A-Rod screaming at a pop-up. Manny Machado made a silly comment based off his age and based off them cutting his comments and blowing it out of proportion. If you listen to the full audio, it's not as bad as it sounds. So, in my opinion, with Manny Machado being a Latin player at this point and the media still bringing it up, it doesn't look good. We've heard it already. Why do writers keep bringing it up? Why do writers keep ignoring another player, Harper, that's gotten into fights with his teammates? And no, in my opinion, none of that should be brought up. They are costing a 26-year-old superstar that happens to be Latino money. And at this point, it looks suspect. Sure, it was okay at the beginning, but the way they keep bringing it up, it's overkill. It's a targeted campaign towards Manny Machado at this point, obviously. Only an idiot that has never seen Manny Machado play is going to take those comments seriously. We know Manny Machado is Teflon. He's a horse, barely misses games, and he had a fluke season where he got injured. He was playing more games than uh, Kyle Ripken Jr. at one point. Consecutive games. Obviously, Kyle Ripken Jr. holds the record, but I'm just saying. He's a horse. So, let's not sugarcoat it. The media has been biased against Manny Machado and has ignored Harper. And Harper, in my opinion, is a great player. They're both great players. I would prefer Bryce Harper. But I'm not going to be a hypocrite and ignore how the media has targeted Manny Machado based off comments that he made over the summer and is still being used against him. When we all know Manny Machado is one of the top Major League Baseball players out there that's going to give you 100% or going to help your team win and obviously could help your team get to the World Series like he helped the Dodgers get there. So to the media, Manny Machado next to Donald Trump has been the most targeted individual I have ever seen in recent months. With the articles they keep posting about Manny Machado left and right, and at this point it's overkill. And if someone says, hey, wow, this is overkill, it kind of looks borderline racist at this point. You can see why people would think this is kind of racist. They deserve it. They keep beating a dead horse. It's over with. Now the media looks like bullies. Let Manny Machado get the contract he deserves. Let him get the money that he deserves. Stop trying to take out money out of a Latin player's pockets. That's the hardcore rant for me and with Y News Felix. So Yankees fans, I'll be back with more Manny Machado news. Stay tuned to the photos and videos. And like always, share, like, and subscribe. And I will check you out next time.